Hey, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Straight Up Show podcast. I am your host, Calvin, joined by my two co-hosts, Lee and Brandon. And today, we also have a special guest, one, uh, somebody that's very familiar to the show, one of our previous guests, uh, guest host, CJ. So, uh, Brandon, Lee, CJ, how you guys doing today? Yeah! I'm good. Good. <laughs> it's Sunday. Like, really enjoying. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> You can say it. I mean, it's already on the show already, but you I know. mean, it's being recorded <laughs> on Sunday. I mean, it's, 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 it's recorded it's, on Sunday. Yeah. They might it's, be it's listening pretty, to this on a Sunday. It's been they pretty might. good. It's, That's I'm a little inside baseball raining. for y'all. But you know what? <laughs> hey, it's perfect segue because guess what? Every Sunday now going forward on WBO, WBOB Radio, uh, you can hear the Radio Show podcast every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on WBOB Radio. So, Brandon, thank you so much for that segue. You can always go to www.wbobradio.live to uh, listen to our show every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sorry. You know I still what? haven't heard it. Yeah, well, you need to go do it because guess what? They have giveaways on there as well. So uh, if you're out there, make sure you join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on WBO, WBOB Radio Live. It's going to take a long time to get used to. But Lee, I still can't even do the uh, website right. You know, like straight up show podcast dot com. That's S T R number eight U P show podcast dot. That's see, look. It takes well, you got it perfect that time. So what's the problem? I have no idea. But hey, <laughs> if, if you're listening, this is our first official show together as a unit. Uh, we've done previous episodes, but hey, we're back and we're here. So I hope all y'all are doing well today. Oh yeah, oh, glad yeah I'm to be back. super. And like you know, so if y'all haven't noticed, we took a little break and an extended break because I had surgery. Uh, and these guys definitely kept me in my spirits. CJ actually came to see me. So thank you, CJ. It really meant a lot to me. Uh, no problem, man. You know, we got to stick together, dude. Yes, sir. So with that being said, kind of just telling y'all about me being down and out, I watched a lot of TV. Uh, I watched Game of Thrones for the first time, by the way, Lee, Brandon, uh, CJ. Uh, but I, I watched a lot of cartoons, with one being X-Men. And do y'all remember just like being like a kid and remember new episodes of X-Men coming out and you get to see it and uh, just watch TV on Saturday? Oh yeah, man. That, that was my stories. That was uh, X-Men in particular was like <laughs> what introduced me to soap operas. Like I had to be there. That was appointment viewing. X-Men was, I, that's a good example. It was like your stories with everything, <laughs> everything, that was, all the relationships, all the dramatic stuff happening. Yeah. I can I can see that. So the funny part with me is I definitely remember watching episodes of X Men, but I don't remember them being new episodes. Like I would just say that they was episodes, right? I didn't know whether this was like the first time, like the premiere of a certain episode. But either way, it was enjoyable. It was, and you know what? That shows how old we are. I really think this is like off the subject, but I really think that how poor or how rich you were growing up to determine what kind of uh, cartoons you watch. Because if you had Disney or Nickelodeon growing up, you had some money. But Talk if, you about watched, it. if you was a W <laughs> or a Fox kid, you, all you had was those five stations. And then if you were really, really poor, you would get a, uh, a wire coat hanger sticking in the back of the TV, and that's how you watch TV. <laughs> Hey, I'm doing projects. I have no shame in my game. You had Fox, you had UPN. UPN. That was pretty uh, much it. Yep. And then a lot of stuff. I would have I would have to turn my antenna to get Fox or turn it a different way to get UPN. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Yep. So hey, we're just showing you how poor we were growing up. But hey, if you had Nickelodeon and uh, Cartoon Network, your family was doing great. Lee, you had an antenna, we had a wire hanger. Hey, so you know what? But we're here now. <laughs> Does that make me middle class? You are middle class. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it to the middle. Started from the bottom. Now we hear it. Like, in but the in the middle. So, but like when we watch those cartoons, whether it be on Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, but you know, one thing in this generation of kids they don't have is those Saturday morning cartoons. And then there's one thing, CJ, that you had to have when you watch these Saturday morning cartoons. What would that be, sir? Bro, you better believe that a Saturday morning experience is not complete unless you're sitting right in front of the television, Indian style, okay? Legs crossed with a nice bowl of syrup. 
a cereal and you oh, had to have the cereal now we're not we're we're in our 30s or approaching our 30s and you know we can't drink regular milk like we used to but <laughs> <laughs> but but like it is, we still love our cereal cereal was Man. cereal was part of the saturday morning experience and you couldn't have one without the other so with that being said, we still love cereal. I still eat sugar-loaded cereal that I probably shouldn't eat, but I still love my cereal. I still go back and get uh, my favorite cereal till this day. So with that being said, if you listen to our season finale, season three, y'all realize that our tournament episodes have been some of our best episodes. So why not continue that within season four? So get Brandon, guess what today's episode is about? It's going to be a tournament of what? Cereal. The best cereal of all time. And if those yeah. of you who are brand new listeners of our show, how it works, we usually have a panelist, which will be, today it'll be Brandon Lee and CJ voting on a best list of 32 cereals, which Lee has randomly put in order. And if you know anything about this show, Lee is a mastermind of causing conflict between our guests. So Lee, uh, I've seen the list already. I already know there's going to be some trouble. So once again, Lee, you are a brainchild of making people have conflict. You know, this one's going to be interesting uh, for me in particular. Uh, like our previous tournaments, um, the superhero in, in particular, I had a pretty dang good idea of who was going to win both sides. This one, th this serial tournament right here, I got no clue. I'm going in blind, so I'm going to be just as entertained by this episode as the people listening. Oh, boy. So that means that we're going to have some exciting times. And like I said, we have three guests. We have three panelists, the ones that will vote for it. Of course, uh, if they both cannot decide, uh, these three can't decide on one, I would be the eventual tiebreaker. Uh, they have one uh, wild card, which is means that they can use the wild card that means that any pick that they pick that doesn't get that they get voted to the next round, they can use one wild card and that pick automatically trumps the other ones. No point intended, no point intended, and it goes over to the next round automatically. So they get one per tournament. So with that being said, is everybody understands the rules? Yep. I, under, I understand the rules as long as there's no freaking Mario cereal up in this thing. There's, I mean, no <laughs> cereal. There's, there's no cheating. That yeah, needs you, to be involved they can still in make that. I, yeah, I was about to say there actually is a Mario cereal, but I doubt <laughs> I doubt it made this tournament. Or it did it. It did not. I can safely say that it did not. <laughs> but we will be going to the Wix out at the grocery store uh <laughs> the weekend uh so we will be visiting the week out of the grocery store in this tournament so with that being said ladies and gentlemen we have the world's best cereal tournament on the straight up show podcast let's get this party started so since oh and you know what i'm saying all this because joining us as we mentioned before cj is a proud member of our team he is a proud guest of our team i'm sorry uh, he's been helping us throughout a long way, but CJ has a segment that he does on his own every Friday. CJ, CJ, before we get started, tell us about your segment that you do every Friday. Man, so I have this little thing I like to call Foodie Fridays every Friday, okay? Basically, like, I take, I try to take, like, newer items, and it could be cereal it could be a uh, entree it could be you know a breakfast item dessert whatever i try to find like new items and sometimes i i taste test them right there on the spot sometimes i just you know just display them for everybody but basically if you love food all right then pull up it's a perfect it's a perfect experience i post it on uh, facebook and ig right now so i'm sure we'll put the plug the information in later on but yeah you know pull up if you love food you will enjoy this and yes show. sir and thank you so much for sharing it with us and cj uh is one of the main reasons why we're picking cereal because some of his foodie friday ideas have been so scrumptious so we had to do the cereal tournament so cj thank you with that so he will be the first person to pick and kick off this uh tournament so with that being said our first matchup will be 
the ever loving Frosted Flakes versus Corn Flakes. TJ, who do you pick? Okay, so before we even do that, let me just let me just bring a little friend with me. Oh God. Let me bring a little friend with me into the into the into the fray. Okay. All right. Okay, so for the audio listeners, you know, if you, you ain't watching video, okay, I'm currently holding a wonderful box of life. If you ain't sweet had life. it, sweet life. If you <laughs> ain't had it, okay, then you're missing out. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know, I know this is going to be the champion. I don't care if it's in the tournament or not. Everybody. In your heart, <laughs> in your heart, this is the champion. Everybody okay? had a little bit of life. Everybody needs a little bit of life, man. Yeah, Everybody you're showing, ne- you're showing your age right now, bro. I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I, I know it, it ain't that sugary at all, man. But uh, so this is an easy toss-up for me, man. Dude, look, cornflakes, why? Get them out of here, man. Get them out of here, bro. Like literally, frosted flakes is the super saiyan version of cornflakes. So why? That's an analogy. All right, so CJ picks Frosted Flakes. Lee, who do you pick? Man, I, uh, I, I got to back CJ up on here. Frosted Flakes, uh, that, uh, that's actually one of my favorite cereals. And I kind of thought maybe I'll have to use a wild card on this. But uh, I wasn't expecting it so early. When I made this bracket, I hit that randomized button like 12 times and then did not look at it. So this is a shock to me. But... Yeah, Frosted Flakes. If 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 you uh if you say Corn Flakes, you're a cop. Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait, do you say a cop or a cop? Yeah, it's a cop. If you eat Corn Flakes but you don't eat life, yeah, you definitely a cop. Yeah, <laughs> something, something wrong with you, man. Something wrong. So someone. So with that being said, if Brandon picks Corn Flakes, it doesn't matter, or he uses his wild card. Brandon, will you pick Corn Flakes or Frosted Flakes? Or will you use your wild card, Brandon? Well, I don't want to be a green cock, so I'm going to get the <laughs> Frosted Flakes because <laughs> it's sugary, dude. I need I need something. I don't like sweets, but I need something. Wow, y'all just definitely like to make the show harder to edit. Okay. All right, so with dude, that being a green said, bird on the on the front of it, it's a cock, oh, man. Oh, okay. hey, I, I, r- 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 I was wondering what he was going for too. Random question, random question. When y'all ate cornflakes, because everybody ate them at some point in their life, right? Did y'all put sugar on them? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the point? <laughs> exactly, well, what's the point? I guess that, that, there you have it. So once again. When it comes to Frosted Flakes and Corn Flakes, it looks like Corn Flakes is out. Frosted Flakes is in because they're what? They're great. All right. That's my Tony retired. I see what you did there. Yeah, I like that. Right. Fantastic. I know. Thank yeah. you. Right. I can rub my, I speak a little Spanish, you know. You can play my Spanish with it. Okay. okay. All right. All right. That text is rubbing get off that, on you. Just get that. You know, so my bad. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> uh, next up we have the also loving honey nut cheerios versus golden grams the old school Ooh. brandon who do you pick golden golden grams or honey nut cheerios golden grams was them um them um uh, them bear cereal was it no, no bear teddy, teddy grams man teddy grams, uh, man. Teddy grams. <laughs> golden grams golden was grams basically was... the small graham crackers oh with, with like yeah. honey residue on it and like that you know? <laughs> All right, so Brandon yeah. picks Golden Graham. CJ, who do you pick? Well, I gotta go second. Oh, man, bro. Because cause Honey Nut Cheerios is one of the OGs. Like, that's like the big 10 of cereals. Oh, but Golden Grahams, bro. Like, Golden Grahams is one of those cereals. Every time I had it, I loved it. Every you time. You need to add nothing to it. You don't need to add nothing, bro. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, this might be controversial. I gotta go with Golden Grams. What the wow, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. So, yeah, so wow. The you know, yeah. it's the bee versus the honey. Uh, yeah. I mean, the bee versus the bear. So, Lee, unless you want to use your wild card on honey nut Cheerios, do you want to pick Golden Grams or use your wild card? I, I, I choose Golden Grams as well. 
Wow, even sweep again. Yeah, everybody got hot. Bro, yeah. Wow. Man. Jeez. Well, with that being said, it. Golden Grams. I'm probably the only person that does not like Golden Grams on this. <gasps> uh, yeah, I don't like it. I like. You don't shirt. like it. Do not. I don't like the What's mascot up? either. So yeah. I'm really salty <laughs> about this. Lee. Oh my goodness. So Have you had that, a bowl? I've had a bowl several times, and that's like Golden Grams was luxury for us. So I, that's what I had. But anyway, uh, with that being said, we move on <laughs> to the next round. Uh, Golden Graham advances. Uh, up next, we have a controversial one already. Lee, I will let this go to you first, sir. We have Fruit Loops versus Peanut Butter Crunch, Captain Crunch. Lee, oh, damn. Oh, I damn. Know. Yep. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> oh, I love them both so much. <laughs> you can only pick one. Uh... Lee, who do you pick? So Fruit Loops is great, but Peanut Butter Crunch has the added benefit of being able to eat it as a dry snack. Ooh, nice so I, th- I think I'm going to go with Peanut Butter Crunch. Nice pick. All right. CJ, who do you, you know what, Brandon, who do you pick? So I'm going to go with uh, the cap on this one because Fruit Loops always had like a plastic taste to me for some reason. And I just didn't understand why. So I'm gonna go with the cap on this one. Plus, he he came missing, and we had to go search for it. But so yeah. yeah. All like right. That. Okay. CJ, you're in deep thought right now, sir. Bro, like unless unless unless, unless you want to go ahead and make it a, a third <laughs> queen, queen sweet. <laughs> Do you want to pick Captain Crunch or Toucan Sam with the Fruit Loops? And CJ. You have got quite the experience with Fruit Loops, so which do you pick? Bro, uh, all right. So, um, okay. So, if there was any tournament <laughs> to where the wild card was going to be used in the first round, this is definitely the one. Because, like, the 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 dilemma right now is that once again, Fruit Loops is a serial OG. Like that's like top ten. That's one of the ones, right? But then I also understand the hype behind the peanut butter crunch, man. Crunchitize me, Captain. Like, oh, man. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. All right. Time's ticking away, CJ. All right. Here's here's what's going to happen. All right. You know how with with, with the Captain Crunch, they got like those those rectangular looking things up in them that Mm -hmm. always... They always brush up against the roof of your mouth. They always, exactly. They always, they always cut the roof of your mouth, right? That's true. So I feel like if you're willing to put yourself through pain to eat a cereal, that shows how good that cereal is. But don't Fruit Loops always stick together, though? I mean, it sticks together, but it don't actually hurt you, though. It don't actually, like, cut the roof of your mouth. But what I'm <laughs> saying <true>. is, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that's a benefit to uh to crunch berry to to you know peanut butter crunch so i'm gonna go with the captain because if you're willing to put yourself in harm to eat this cereal that's some good cereal it's true which is also my favorite cereal of all time uh with that being said we move on to the next round this is our third sweep already in this tournament uh does the best cereal tournament on the trail show podcast so we move on to Chex versus Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Brandon, start with oh, you. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. Yeah. Cinnamon that? Toast. Yeah. Here I come. All right. <laughs> Lee? Cinnamon, yeah. Uh, what, what was the first one again? <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. It's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> CJ. Look, Chex say y'all gonna put some respect on my name, man. <laughs> Look, I think Chex is probably one of the, the few cereals where people prefer it like as a trail mix rather than the actual cereal. Like who eats Chex mix as a cereal? Like, I don't know. Anyway, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, man. We, we ain't worried about Chex. All right, y'all so the right. fourth sweep again, but if we're being honest right now, I'm throwing my two cents in. Chex and life was the same thing to me. That's just my opinion, but hey. <laughs> what did you just say? I just said checks and life are the same cereal. Sir, sir go, go in the corner, man. Go in the corner, <laughs> man. Come on now. Tell me the difference. Tell me Ralph, the difference between checks and, and like, seriously. Life is sweet. 
like checks is like just like the just like the little checker things but no actual sugar on it life actually has cereal like it actually has sugar like wedged in between it's trapped in between the little the little squares so <laughs> if you pass me some checks that got a little bit to them my life is gonna be sweet too Ah, I like that. That was nice. <laughs> All right, so it seems that similar. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Bars, saw, man. I, I, I saw that awkward bar moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we move on. So it seems that uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch does advance. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump on to Raisin Bran versus Apple Jacks. Lee, who do you pick? Oh, uh, well, I'm not 80, so I'm not going to go with Raisin Bran. So I'll, I'll go with Apple Jacks. All right, CJ. So I'm going to show my age because I love Raisin Bran. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And see, here's the weird part. Here's the weird part. I loved it as a kid, too. Like, I don't know what it is, man. Like, Raisin Bran was just, I, I just loved it. And, like, the weird part now, though, is, like, like at my current age, I love the brand more. But back then, I love you know, the raisins. So the raisins are good, though. Yeah, the raisins are good. They're good. Yeah. But I'm weird like that. Raisin brand, man. Yeah. What was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. It, Apple. It's my turn. I mean, they're good. They're good. And so Apple Jacks was the one with Cinnamon on it. So yes. yeah, yeah, my bad yeah, on Apple. that one. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go with CJ on this one. And I actually do like Raisin Bran. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the Man. texture or something about it, but you can eat it. Oh, yeah. It's not that bad. The yeah. texture going like, in and out. Yeah. When I go to a, go to somewhere, it's like, do you have any Raisin Bran? You know, it's like, <laughs> can you go get some? <laughs> don't hate, Calvin. Don't hate. Come on now. Unless Lee, unless Lee wants to uh, use his wild card, it seems that Raisin Bran advances Lee going what? once. What you want to do, do twice? Lee? What you want to do, Lee? This is not a hill I'm going to die on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, like I said, uh, slowly moving through <laughs> is Raisin Brands. <laughs> we just showed our age, man. Wow. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, look, I man. Mean, Raisin Bran go hard, dude. Yeah. Forget what y'all are talking about. I that go hard. Explain it, oh, so. man. Okay. It. And this it. and it's another cereal. I don't know if it made the list, but it's another cereal that did the same thing for me, but I'll wait and see if it made the list first before I I, I, I mention it. Uh, up next, we have French Toast Crunch versus Kicks. Brandon, who do you pick? Yeah, uh, no, nah, you can kick that Kicks out out the door. I need the um the cinnamon. Give me that again. I like cinnamon, man. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I can eat that. Okay, but yeah. that's French Toast Crunch, though, ain't that? French that had cinnamon crunch. on it. No, yeah. it was just it, it was kind of Frenchy. It, it was the one that was shaped like bread. Yeah, French ain't French toast. Cinnamon? Yeah, it was the yeah. So French toast crunch. It was kind of like a buttery cinnamon taste. Yeah, so it was the it was the bread cinnamon. looking kind of cereal. Okay. So Brandon picked cinnamon uh, French toast crunch. Excuse me, uh, CJ. Who do you pick? So the ironic part of this conversation is Kix was that other cereal, <laughs> 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 Bruh, I don't know what it is. Okay. But like Kix probably was my favorite cereal as a kid. I murdered that cereal left and right and no sugar. Like I didn't add sugar to it. I don't know what it was, but I love that cereal. And then when they put, when they came out with the berry Kix, oh, it was over, man. It was, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why berry Kix ain't on here, but hey, that's, that's the story for another situation. I got to go with Kix, man. I got to go with my heart on this one. Right. right. And, and 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 the kicks is backed by the government, especially if you get the uh the government box that they give you. If you're poor, you know what I'm talking about. So kicks is part of that. Uh Lee, so it's boiled down to you. Brandon says French toast crunch, CJ says kicks. Uh, but will you kick rocks uh when it comes to this year pick? Which do you pick? I've got to give it to French Toast Crunch. Ooh, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm about that. Okay. I'm about that cinnamon life as well, Brandon. Okay, well, there you have it. So it looks like <laughs> unless CJ uh, wants to use his wild card for this, uh, kicks is about to kicks rocks. Uh, 
So, CJ, what do you say? Y'all, the video version of this is, like, totally the way to go for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, no, no, I, I'll, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let kicks die. I'll let it die. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Dude, I went with a raisin brand with you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Y'all disappointed me oh, with raisin okay. brand. Okay, but, that's you know. true. Up next, or oh, this might be an easy one. Uh Fruity Pebbles versus the Oreo cereal. Lee. Well, actually, you know what? CJ, you go first. Fruity Pebbles or the Oreo one cereal, which I didn't like, but you know. This this is actually a, like a fairly hard one. I ain't gonna say it's a super hard one. It's fairly hard for me because like I didn't like Oreo O's at first but they definitely grew on me over time like when it hit it hit right like what once again Kevin like you look at like that because like how they taste to you now is how they first taste to me but I don't know what it was but like I don't know a synapse went off in my head and it was like hey you like this now so so but uh bruh fruity pebbles another OG another cereal OG, oh, this is one of the five, the four or five Hokage of cereal. Fruity Pebbles, bro. Come on, man. The Flintstones. Yeah, you're right about that when they got their own cereal. So with that being said, Lee, Fruity Pebbles or Oreo O's? No, not going to lie. Fruity Pebbles is one of my top three cereal. So it's going to be Fruity Pebbles for me. All right. So can this be a clean sweep, Brandon, Oreo O's or Fruity Pebbles? I really don't care for neither one of those. These. How dare you? I really, I really oh, don't. Mute his mic. Like, mute his mic. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles is just, the, the damn cereal is too small for me. It's so sugary. But I oh, don't Wait like, a minute. Did you just say wait, it's so sugary? It's so sugary, dude. That's the point. But wait, wait. There's more. I haven't even had Oreo cereal, but I'm, I think I'm still going to do Oreos. It's, I just don't like Fruity Pebbles. All right. So unless Brandon randomly chooses his uh, wild card, it looks like Fruity Pebble uh, is going to win. So, Brandon, do you want to use your wild card for Fruity Pebbles? No. Nah, no. Nah. All right. Well, there you have it. Fruity Pebble <laughs> advances. Uh, let me make sure I write this down that Brandon likes cereal he has never tasted before you you yeah. made, made <laughs> yeah. the right choice <laughs> all right well with that being said we move on uh another chocolatey classic we have cocoa puffs with the crazy macaw bird and honeycombs with little if you remember back in the day they had a crackhead like uh cartoon character with the i don't know what he was but uh, yeah like a little a caveman or, or i don't know what he was but yeah so uh, with that being said, Brandon, you pick Cocoa uh, Puffs or Honeycombs? So I grew up on Cocoa Puffs so because it made the milk chocolatey. So I'm going to go with Cocoa Puffs on this one. All right, CJ? Okay, y'all going to have to help me out here. Was Cocoa Puffs, is Cocoa Puffs considered the first cereal that made your cereal, your milk turn chocolate? You could be right. I'm not for sure about that. I'm not a factual person. Like, like I can't, I can't think of a cereal before Cocoa Puffs. Like, oh, can't. my milk turned chocolate. Like, yeah. I can't think of another one. So oh. if, if that's the case, like Cocoa Puffs is definitely an OG. They're definitely an OG. Um, honeycomb for me though, man. Honeycomb. Mm. I don't know if Honeycomb is considered an OG, but Honeycomb is easily one of my most. Like, that's in my top ten, easy, probably top five. Well, yeah, that ain't going nowhere. You're right about that one. So it all boils down to Lee, Lee, honeycombs or cocoa puffs. Well, it's uh, time for Lee to get some hate mail again. Uh, I do not like the taste of chocolatey cereal. I, 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 I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say, Lee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's, it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be white cereal. I don't. <laughs> How's this analogy work? <laughs> but but no, oh, it's it's man. what CJ said. It's like it you know it turns the milk chocolatey, and I I don't like that flavor. 
that, <laughs> that like that like artificial chocolatey kind of flavor. It's like, man, just give me actual chocolate milk. So that's why I'm going honeycomb. Chocolate milk lives matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, I was kidding. So oh. with that being said, it seems that unless Brandon wants to use uh, his wild card, honeycombs will advance. Brandon, going once, going no, twice. No, because honeycombs is good. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like honeycombs advances. So we're just about halfway through with our first round. Up next, we start with CJ. Actually, we start with Lee. Sorry. I always get y'all mixed up. Um because we chocolate, ain't it? Yeah, we got chocolate. chocolate yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it gets canceled mm-hmm. so bad. Uh, so, Lee, You're welcome. <laughs> I used to Shut hate up. this cereal. Like, I grew up in the projects and we had roaches in our house, and I would never eat this cereal because of this. So, up next, we have Honey Honey Smacks versus <laughs> Waffle Crisp. <laughs> Lee, who do you pick? And if you grew up in the projects or you had roaches in your house, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna give it to Honey Smacks. That was my mom's favorite cereal. Uh, okay. Well, Lee says Honey Smacks. Brandon, who do you pick? What was the second one? <laughs> honey Smacks or Waffle <laughs> Crisp? Waffle, dude. I don't even remember what that was, yo. Waffle Crisp. What was? It was like a waffle. Looked- they they were like they had like holes in it. Like, like, I don't know. It was just like it was like the waffle version of. French Toast Crunch. I don't like it. Uh, let's, yeah, I'm going with the, the other one. The roaches. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, CJ, so who do you pick? Uh, the Waffle Crisp or the, the roaches? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the roaches, the roaches thing is so on the nose. They do look like little bit of roaches. <laughs> and don't let a roach actually like fall into the, the bag. Oh, don't let it happen. Bro, okay, all right. So Waffle Crisp was like a thing, but I was never on that train. Right, I'm familiar with the cereal, but I don't think I ever actually had it before. Right, so I'm gonna go with uh with with the smacks, okay? But I got a question to post to y'all. So, so when I had posted the question about you know what did y'all think was you know the you know the goat cereals you know uh, uh last week, it was some people that was really riding for honey smacks, and I'm like huh. they're good, but goat level. No. Nah. Sh- 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 it took me a long time to figure out what the mascot was. I, it was it a frog, was it a turtle, was it squirtle? Uh, yeah, it was, I didn't know. Yeah, what it, yeah. It, it a took frog? me. A, it was a frog. Not okay. a frog. A squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what it was, but it was weird. So I, I don't want to talk about this. This like, I'm surprised that if I had a wild card, I would definitely ban this right now. Uh, I'm telling y'all, you just there were some days where you'll pour some honey smack. And you didn't know what was in your cereal. I'm just saying, bro, bro, bro. Sugar, bro. Was it sugar smacks or honey smacks? It, was, it don't matter. It, was it don't matter. Smacks. Yeah, it was. They, they honey smacks. Like, but like, yeah, because you know, like the, those roaches at your house had like different shades of like skin on the back, and you just never yeah. knew what you was going to get. Bro, that I'm cereal you, gives you PTSD. That's why yeah. I won't eat honey smacks or in the uh, hood, yeah. or or black eyed peas because you never know. <laughs> and that's why I don't like, but uh, people, I don't, I don't like. And I'm sorry I'm going on a tangent, but I'm trust me, I do not like uh office lunch parties because if it's not a store oh, about, I don't want to eat it. Cause if, if I yeah, see anything yeah, spotty yeah, in yeah, your yeah. if I see raisins in your uh coleslaw, I won't can't, eat it. Like I don't do mm, sorry, my bad. Can't, sorry. can't do it. People like, put I, raisins in coleslaw. People and put raisins in there a lot of I hate stuff. Office they lunch be. parties. You sorry. know who you are. Up next, we have uh rice krispies ooh, versus Cocoa Pebbles. CJ, who do you pick? Okay, uh, just to make sure this is the regular, regular, the regular Rice Krispies, Rice Krispies, right? Get them out of here. Cocoa Pebbles, man. Cocoa Pebbles. Because, bro, all right, my problem with Cocoa, with, not the Cocoa Pebbles, but Rice Krispies is the same with, uh, with Corn Flakes. Like, you have to put sugar on them to enjoy them. So, that well, crackle and pop. You What's the point? Your, you can hear this is the only cereal that talks back to you. I don't give a damn about the sounds it makes. How's it taste? <laughs> it <laughs> talks this back is to you. When you this is cereal, you, Calvin. Look, your cereal does not come alive until that milk's hit. It says, you know what? 
We like to enjoy this TV show. And I'm telling you how good I am. All you gotta do is put some sugar on me, baby. Put some sugar on me, baby. Look, look, look. To to your point, okay? They are amazing when you do put sugar on them, okay? But there is a version of that that decide, hey, that's a good idea. We're going to go ahead and do that for you. So since this ain't that version, get them out of here. Wow. So I can't believe gotta we do have it. this gaming on this one. but Got to do it. Lee, uh, since we know you don't like to bang on uh, chocolate milk, uh, so which <laughs> do you prefer? You <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've got to uh, out myself as a serial racist once again. <laughs> by saying that I'm choosing Rice Krispies because they are a treat. Hey, you know what? When, when you think about it, this is kind of like the ultimate like chocolate versus white cereal. <laughs> like it gets, it really don't get no whiter than Rice Krispies. I, like I guess it just shows just how white I am. It's, it's Why like Rice Krispies? All right, Brandon. So the choice is yours. Rice Krispie or, uh, or uh, Cocoa Pebbles. Some people might catch what I was talking about with the Flintstone cereal and how small it is. I guess I really didn't care when it came to Rice Krispies. Because <laughs> I'm with Calvin. I mean, the snap and crackle, like, you know, it, it had an effect to it. And you just put some sugar in it, man. And you just ate it. So that's part of the joy of it. Because, like, and like you can make part of the joy. Krispies, yeah, know? the part of the joy was like, Man, if I don't add sugar on this, it will taste bad, but it's calling from me. It talks to me. You I, mean, I mean, I CJ, I didn't eat the other cereal. So I can't really, I can't, I don't have an experience with hey, that. So hey, all power to you, man. All yeah, power so to you. I'm, I'm, yeah. If you didn't I'm, eat I'm, honey I'm, crisp I'm, ever, I'm but go with the rice krispies, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's okay. cool. That's cool. <laughs> all right. Well, he you, you, you watched the Flintstones, didn't you, Brandon? I mean, yeah, I did. I did, you know, and they they you was connected to that. Food, so like you you know, so you so you said in it. So you, you decided cereal. to eat bare cereal, you know, rice krispies, you know, flavorless, bland, no, no seasoning. Well, we're moving along on this one. So. <laughs> Unless CJ wants to use his uh wild card. Do you want to use your wild card for cocoa pebbles? It ain't worth it. It's not it worth it. So with that being said, uh snap, crackle, and pop your way out of here, cocoa pebbles, because rice krispy treats is advancing so with that being said uh we move on we're going to start with lee lee we have uh tricks which got me whippings all the time um and coco crisp lee who do you pick and what wh what was you doing with that tricks growing up calvin <laughs> <laughs> i feel like tricks and fruity pebbles are the same thing honestly but that's just me well, you're 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 not wrong, but that's also the reason I'm choosing tricks. I, uh, being gay, I love fruity cereal. <laughs> Y'all was <laughs> yeah. love it. Get us canceled. I'm just saying. All right, <laughs> love it. Oh man, great job. Uh, so much with cereal, we didn't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, with that oh, being man. said, we, we're choosing tricks uh, over cocoa crisp. Uh, Brandon, do you pick tricks or do you pick Coco Crisp? I actually am the opposite of Lee and I don't like fruity cereal. How <laughs> dare you? I really don't, dude. I'm sorry. So I'm going to have to go with Coco Crisp on this one. It's Cookie Crisp, but okay. Oh, nice try. oh the Cookie Crisp. There you go. Oh, I remember those. Cool. Oh, yeah, I ate those crisp. temporarily. Um, but I mean, I ate them. And I, 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 I don't like fruity cereal, so I'm going to have to go with the cookie crisp. Y'all y'all going to just cancel, I'm telling you. CJ, can you please save <laughs> Dude, us? I ain't even like that damn buddy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me out with this, but wasn't the cookie crisp mascot, the wasn't he, wasn't he a criminal? Like, he was. wasn't he, wasn't oh, yeah. he in the, yeah, he wasn't was he in the, the black and white? Yeah. He had the black and white yeah. suit on, didn't he? Yep. So y'all want to support criminally ran cereals? Just just think about that for a second, man. Huh? You 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 want to do that? Huh? So do you want to support? We, we, we was kids. So think you about that. Tricks, man. Look, marks. Tricks. Look, I look, mean, was look. he a criminal? 
I mean, I know he was a bad wolf. I think he had a jumpsuit on, man. If I remember correctly, he had a jumpsuit. He on. had a jumpsuit it, on. You're right. It, there, there was a cop <laughs> and robber on the box. The cop was chasing the robber through the box. I specific, specifically remember the uh, the commercials for this. So uh, he was it, always stealing the, the cookie crisp. And, and, and if, the, if you have so, uh, and if you if you ever watch Atlanta with Childish Gambino, John Glover, he actually kind of does like a. Uh, you know, he did. He did. <laughs> Oh no! It is all coming back to me. So, do you really think a cereal like that is going to be big stuff in 2021? I don't know. But all I know is when Tricks decided to change from just the balls to the actual fruit shapes, I was sold. I was sold, man. That was it for me. Tricks, Tricks, man. If we go to episode, the next episode, if we're not canceled, uh, it seems that Tricks, unless Lee. Uh, wants to use click, or Brandy wants to use Cookie Crisp. Uh, it seems that Trix gets the win. Lee, Brandon, wasn't well, Trix the one with the bunnies chasing them kids all the time, or like doing something with them kids all the time? I'm just saying. Oh, I don't know. Um, he was no, a bunny. He was, was a bunny. bunny. Yeah. Silly rabbit. Exactly. Tricks for kids. And that, and if I remember correctly, the it, kids, it, 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 the it, it, kids wait. stole the cereal from him. Wait, I need yep. to throw this. Yep. I need to throw this out here. Hashtag leave Lola Bunny alone. Just saying. Okay, we can go on to the next one. Okay, so it looks like <laughs> silly rabbit tricks are for kids, and they're going to the next round. <laughs> I think that this are. one will actually get a uh, a easy out, outing. Uh, Blueberry versus Cheerios. Brandon, <laughs> what do you pick? Uh, Damn, what is this blueberry stuff? What is I really feel stuff? like Brandon grew up a little bit more privileged than we did. <laughs> it's you, all man. coming out. Yeah, this blueberry whole time. cereal. The struggle cereal. Oh. Come on, you remember Count Chocolate and all that? He was with his gang. Dude, no, I didn't eat that, yo. You didn't eat chocolate? Oh. I ate the chocolate one, but not the blueberry one. And what was the other one? Uh, Cheerios. This is like a Cheerios. Section 8... Uh, Wix like spectacular right here, and I'm not digging anybody not, on it. That's just what they I give you. Remember Cheerios for some reason? Oh hell no, not to be. Oh, uh, you not remember Cheerios? <laughs> kind of world did you? Man, you know, you know, my memory is bad. Right? Like, oh man. Oh, this is tough. Mm. Oh my god. Wait, how did the B make the last round? See that no, cookie see, just got a mess. See, this up, is man. what's wrong with you because Cheerios is not the B. Cheerios is just generic. And Cheerios is the heart. Honey Nut mm-hmm. Cheerios is the B. That's the B. Why is both in this bracket? Because um, they have like me, 18 million flavors. Yeah. I like blueberries. All right, blueberry. blueberry is going there, even though Brandon has not had blueberry. Um, so CJ, who do you pick, blueberry or Cheerios? Please take this out of our misery. All right, so you know how they say, you know how I was saying how, you know, you got to add sugar to uh what was that rice krispies you know for it to be a a nice Mm -hmm. experience and i hated them for that yeah i'm gonna retract that statement because yeah regular cheerios yeah uh, i rock with them Mm -hmm. i I rock with them (laughs) all right so lee uh choice is yours blueberry or cheerios blueberry i am uh at the opposite end of the cj spectrum in that i hate cheerios i tried (laughs) it once as a kid immediately hated it Man. So it's, it's blueberry for me. All right. Yeah. So blueberry. And unless uh, CJ wants to use his wild card, uh, uh, CJ, do you want to use your wild card for Cheerios? No, no. We still got a cousin in the tournament. So we, we okay. Yeah. So, and, and I hate to say it because this is going to be a cereal that we're going to probably have to eat in the next 10 years. So anyway, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> blueberry. Better get ready now. <laughs> Blueberry advances. So we're going to continue with the uh, Wix selection that they have. They give us. I'm doing this to our government because we deserve better food. So with that being said, we're going to go to a heavy dose of the Wix box. Uh, we're going to go to Count Chocula and King Vitamin. Woo! Wow! With that wow. being said, from the excitement, CJ, let's bounce over to you. Uh, King Vitamin or Count Chocula. Bruh. This can get very racial, by the way. Bruh. All right. So, I mean, easily is Count Chocolate for me. Let's just go ahead and get that out the way right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm just surprised that King Vitamin actually made it. That I'm is just surprised. the king of struggle. 
K vitamin goes. That, bro, bro, the fact that it made it to this tournament is a win by itself. Okay. But let's be honest, you ain't going far, man. You ain't going far. <laughs> so count Chocula, man. Count Chocula. Let's go. Even wow. though Lee, even though Lee's a hater in that in that spectrum, but we ain't gonna worry about that right now. Okay. We're just gonna enjoy the moment. Wow. Okay. Well, um, dang, watch like I can vote for this, but dang. All right, Lee, which do you pick? Yeah, it, it's not gonna surprise anybody. I'm, I'm picking King Vitamin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Brandon, we've already established that you're privileged and you don't know which one these is. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, yeah, like, like, did you just Google it? Did you just yeah, Google, Google it? it? So, yo, like, so I'm going to go with what I would eat in this situation. I'm going to have to go with the King, Vi- <laughs> the King Vitamin cereal because this, 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 what is this, this, I told you. I told you. It's it's a turn racial. I literally cannot believe Brandon is just discovering Count Chocula. With that being said, it looks like King Vitamin, shockingly, uh, goes to the next round. So uh, we leave this uh, the Wix uh, part of the section of the show, uh, and then we jump to the healthy side of it. So we have Honey Bunches of Oaks versus Special K and all their varieties. So with that being said, Brandon, who do Oh, there's actually a healthy do. part. I like special K for sure. Yeah. All yeah, right. All right. <laughs> CJ, like, what the hell? No. Uh, all right. Uh, special K. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Lee, who do you think? And I'm, I'm <laughs> learning so much about Brandon today. It is I amazing. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, uh, I'm, I'm going Honey Bunches of Oats just because it has honey in it. Okay. All right, CJ. Honey bunches of O's, Brandon. What? Why? <laughs> bro, bro, look, look. A person's choice in cereal will tell you a lot about their personality, man. Oh, a lot. I mean, oh shoot. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize that's what. Oh no, I do, hunt Man, these are why you have to put both of these in here. These are both pretty much. Both of these are pretty much, pretty much what I eat. I'm gonna go bro, with honey bunches. Well, see, the thing about honey bunches yeah. of oats, though, right, is like. That is a that's probably the one healthy cereal that could be considered like a top 20 cereal. Mm. Oh yeah. Like oh, that yeah. that yeah. cereal is the first time you had that honey cluster. Bro. I do honey bunches is all I eat for the most part. Same here. The yep. almonds yeah. and, and the stra- the strawberries, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, it looks like honey bunches of oats advances. So we move along and special Clean, case out. Clean, Clean sweet, sweet by which the way. we haven't had in a while. Yep. Uh so up next we have. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs versus Captain Crunch. Why would you Barry, do this? Barry, CJ, oh, you sound excited. What do you have? Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Why would you do this? <laughs> Don't ask me, Ashley. Uh, Reese's Puffs. All right, there we go. Reese's Puffs. All right, Lee. Now, now this time Reese's Puffs, do, 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 they do have a shot. Because they got the peanut butter, because that offsets the chocolate a bit. Yeah. But I love me some crunch berries, man. You do not know. <laughs> you, know you, you remember what I said about the peanut butter crunch as a, as a, as a dry snack? I've right. done that with crunch berries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it's crunch berries for me. Crunch berries right. are good because they got rid of the mouth. They got rid of the mouth cutters. <laughs> it's just the good stuff. So you can't go wrong with it. Right? That's so crazy. You know what? <laughs> so we got we got a split decision right now, Brandon. And I hope that you've had at least one of these. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like we're just unhealthy right now and just eat a bunch of sugar. <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said, Brandon, uh Captain Crunch Crunch Berries or I don't like I don't like Reese's fruity, Puffs. Dude. I'm a, I'm gonna do the Reese's. I don't like the fruity. All right. Oh. Well, unless oh, Lee wants to your use words hurt, hey. sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just gonna get us oh, canceled. I, boy. I think the final takeaway from this episode will be if you're dating anybody, ask them their cereal choices. Yeah, I, I really yeah. think so. It, it, that, it yeah. talks about about mm-hmm. uh privileged and you know stuff like that. So we, we are hitting a new leaf on this episode. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get canceled at some point. Uh so with that being said, Brandon, <laughs> we need a decision for from you. Uh oh, it's Reese's. Reese's Puff. So CJ, do you want to use? I was no, that's Lee. 
I mean, Lee, do you want to use? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my first time doing it today. Uh, Lee, do you want to use your wild card for Captain Crunch Crunch Berries? And that's I, I I do love them, but I I think I'm gonna hold on to it. All right. With that being said, Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. It looks like they're gonna advance. So we have one more before we end the first round. All right. Wait. This this is the last one, right? <clears throat> the last one for the first round. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. All right and, okay. and if you're all visually right. okay. not watching this episode, which could be on YouTube, right. uh, they, they'll be on YouTube as well. Uh, follow us, Straight Up Show Podcast on YouTube. Uh, CJ is sweating. So uh, <laughs> this is how uh, intense this uh, right, tournament on. has been getting. So uh, we end the first round with, uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to make a switch right here. Corn Pops versus... Lucky Charms. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I haven't, I think I've had corn pops, but I'm going to go with Lucky Charms only because they're magically delicious. No, it's, I don't know. Cause I, I've had them. I don't really care. I can't eat the marshmallows anymore, though. I can't. Like the, 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 the way the, the <laughs> marshmallows like get marshmallows all slippery and, and, and crap, like once they get in there, like uh, I'm going to shut up now. Just the, that, yeah. All right, so Lucky Charms, CJ, who do you pick? Lucky Charms or Corn Pops? See, the fact that life didn't even make the tournament, man. Like, can I use, like, my card and, like, put life in it? Uh, no. <laughs> Man, look, you had chicks. Look, we ain't so. look, we ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna focus on the disrespect. Look, y'all are the ones that gotta sleep at night after this, okay? Just remember that. All right. But believe it or not, this is actually two of my favorites. Like corn pops, I love those over a huge stretch of my life, and lucky charms the same way. But lucky charms edges it out because once again, that's an OG cereal. I love it. It has marshmallows in it. Marshmallows is basically the hot sauce when it comes to cereal. So it makes every it makes everything better, man. To be honest, that is true. The marshmallows it makes is, everything is high better. To eat, the, eat the stuff. So man. So yeah, but that, that's an easy win for me though. Yeah, I gotta go Lucky Charms on that one. All but right. So y'all. all right, Lee. So you can send us the commercial break with your pick. Do you want to use your wild card on corn pops or do you want to make it a clean sweep? with magically delicious corn pop. I meant my bad. Lucky Charms, my bad. Sorry. Nah, corn pops is gross. <laughs> All right. With that being said, as we end the first round of our cereal tournament, uh, it looks like Lucky Charms advances. Make sure you stay tuned. That is our Straight Up Show podcast cereal tournament. What is the best cereal? We find out next. Stay tuned. Straight up, we know that all lives matter, but historical events have shown that there is an inverse power dynamic between the races in our country. To highlight this, we present our Black Lives Matter merchandise. Because let's be real, some of you don't seem to understand that this isn't the organization, but a message. That message, end inequality towards minorities in America. And just in case that's too complicated for you in English, we have the phrase translated into 10 different languages. Visit StraightUpShowPodcast.com for this and all our other merch. That's S-T-R, the number 8, ShowPodcast.com. Shirts as low as $19.99. So welcome back to the Travel Show podcast. Uh, this is our new season, and we have another tournament. What is the best cereal of all time? Uh, if you are still with us, if you have not clicked off, uh, we have some uh, controversial picks, uh, some very controversial picks that, that may get us canceled. Uh, it's been kind of racial, kind of been, uh, you know, uh, very discriminative. Uh, but we're still here. We're just joking around. But anyway, so of course we're joined with our, our two co-hosts, Lee and Brandon, and of course, our special guest host, CJ. Uh, if you have not been watching us on YouTube right now, CJ has been sweating because his favorite cereal life uh, did not make it. So sometimes in life, uh, you get picked. Sometimes you don't get picked. So that's just life. 
you know. Long, long uh, live the king, man. Long <laughs> live the king. Like even though life and chips are the same cereal, but it's neither here or there. Uh, are you gentlemen ready to continue with round two of the best cereal tournament? I'm nervous because it's about to get real now. It's about to get really, really real. All right. Yeah. So with that being said, we start off with the creator of this. Uh, well, the creator was CJ, but the one that put it together, uh, Lee. Lee. So starting off, we have Frosted Flakes versus Golden Grams. Which one do you pick, my sir? Uh, F- Frosted Flakes. It, it it might be my number one cereal. Not going to lie. All right. CJ? Um, bro, this is hard, man. See, if I knew where Brandon was going with it, then that would have helped with my choice. <laughs> Cause I love Golden Grams, but dude, it's Frosted Flakes, bro. Oh, that's like the Superman of cereal. Yep. Oh, but I like Golden. Like to be honest, oh, Golden Grams. All right, let's Golden go. Grams, Golden let's, Grams. So let's uh, go. Privilege, Pete Brandon. No, I'm, <laughs> <kidding. laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Uh, Brandon. So do no. you pick Golden Grams or Frosted Flakes? Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Frosted Flakes on this one. Good. Oh, right. Okay. Good man. Good good man. Right Even though I man. don't like how Superman was just uh, you know connected with it, but yeah. Bring my old stuff. Come on now. Let that, go. <laughs> let, the, let that go. Let that go. All right. So it seems that Frosted Flakes uh, does advance with this in our tournament. Up next, we have. Uh, uh, Captain Crunch peanut butter, peanut butter crunch versus uh, cinnamon toast crunch. CJ, who do you pick? Oh, that's cinnamon toast crunch, man. Come on now. Let's stop playing these games. Wow. Okay. All right. Lee? I got to give it to peanut butter crunch just because I met it first. <laughs> All right. Brandon, can you split this tie? Yeah, peanut cinnamon. Butter- Oh, wow. Cinnamon. Well, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, man. Well, geez, Lee, do you want to use your wild card? Need anything, you know? No, I'm, I'm, you I'm, I'm, I'm happy with Cinnamon Toast as well. You can eat that naked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, you can eat them all you, naked, you Brandon, if you're brave. No, mm. man, dude, you stick your tongue in and you got Cinnamon Okay, let's, let's just move on to the next <laughs> one before we get into even more chaos. Where is this going? <laughs> wow, okay. And if you don't know that uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, did advance okay so with that being said we have raisin brand versus french toast crunch uh brandon who do you pick Man, i feel like i'm gonna lose either way here uh, it's part of yeah. life yeah 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 give me this give me the cinnamon man let's let's have a cinnamon battle in the next round let's right. have a cinnamon battle in the next round all right french toast crunch advances i mean well my bad sorry cj who do you pick French yeah, Toast was, Crunch or Raisin Brands? Yeah, I was about to say, you jump in the gun because it got a battle first. Raisin okay. Brand. Raisin okay. Brand, buddy. All right. All right, there we go. Raisin Brand, one for Raisin Brand and one for French Toast Crunch. Lee, do you want to send Raisin Brand home or you want to send French Toast Crunch home? Lee, the choice is yours. You're right. They do got a battle first. And Raisin Brand has to lose. French Toast Crunch <laughs> all the way. <laughs> CJ, do you want to use your wild card to send Raising Brand to the next round? Nah, uh, nah. We'll let it die peacefully. All right. So with that being said, French Toast Crunch advances. All right. So with that being said, Lee, you are up next, sir. No, that's right. I think, yeah. Fruity Pebbles versus Honeycombs. Which do you pick? Honeycombs is good now, but Fruity Pebbles is 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 in my top three. No, no, no doubt. It's it's gonna be Fruity Pebbles. All right. So with that being said, Fruity Pebbles is Lee's choice. Brandon, who do you pick? Uh, honeycombs. Wow. Gotta have, gotta have. I don't like the. I don't like fruit <laughs> cereal. I I just don't. <laughs> I Brandon, just why don't do you have so much hate in your heart? I I I don't. I don't know, man. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. Maybe it's that part of part of happiness I didn't have growing up. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. I don't okay. Know. All right. So with that being said, CJ, can you bring us some kind of sense of decorum uh, back to this show? Uh, Fruity Pebbles or a honeycomb? See, I'm a 
I'm gonna turn over here. That way, it looks like I'm not looking at Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> and I will gladly choose fruity pebbles. Brandon, that's his pick. Do you want to say honeycombs? No, nah, I'm hoping the cinnamon takes it out. <laughs> see, 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 you, see, see, you're not even loyal to your cereal. Not even loyal to it, man. Come on now. Wow. Well, as they would say, Willikers. Oh, wow. With that being said, oh. Fruity Pebbles advances. Honeycombs can kick the dirt. So up next, we have uh, CJ going first. Uh, we have, oh my goodness, this, this stupid cereal. Uh, uh, honey Smacks uh, or Rice Krispies. Oh, bro, this is like the battle of the worst. <laughs> man, how y'all trick me into getting Rice Krispies, man? Damn it. All right, Rice Krispies it is. Damn. Uh. All right. All right, Lee, who do you pick? I'm, I'm going to go Rice Krispies as well. All right. Brandon, unless you want to use your wild card, Rice Krispies advances. Yeah. Do you want the roaches or do you want Rice Krispies? Good with the, the pure Krispies. So it looks like Rice Krispies treat advances. Uh, with that being said, we move along. Brandon, you go first on this one. Uh, we have tricks or boo berry. Brandon, uh, I, I say boo berry. All right, CJ, which is I got, contradicting. I got tricks, man. I you right. do for days, man. I got tricks. Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> yeah. I like the new ones too. Like the new tricks, you can just buy them when you want them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> Lee, uh, can you once again bring some kind of sense of decorum uh, to this episode by putting uh, us to tricks or blueberries? Now nah, let's uh, let's turn these tricks to the next round. All right, so it looks like tricks and heading to the next round. Uh, up next, I'm gonna start with Lee. Lee, we have King Vitamin versus Honey Bunches of Oats. Let's get them honey bunches of oats on. All right. So, Brandon? Honey bunches of oats. You got oats. Google Greg here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Honey bunches. Let's bring them in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. CJ, unless you wanted to use your wild card to say King, King Vitamins, uh, honey bunches of oats or King Vitamins? Did I vote King Vitamin into this round? The answer is no, Calvin. The answer is no. Honey bunches of oats. Clean sweep. Get them up out of here. But no, seriously. Uh, so it looks like uh, honey bunches of oats <laughs> coming up. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we wrap up round two with, uh, we're going to start with CJ. CJ, we have Reese's Pieces versus Captain Crunch, Crunch Berry. My bad. Lucky Charm, my bad. Reese's Puffs versus Lucky Charms. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, this is rough right here. Two goats. Two goats. All right. All right. Out of the two, I probably eat Lucky Charms more, but Reese's Puffs is on a different level, man. Like, that's the closest cereal that actually tastes like the actual candy. Yeah, you're right. That's, right. that's what I remember as a kid. Like, oh, it tastes like the candy. So, yeah, Reese's Puffs for me. Reese's Puffs. And actually, I didn't, like the, I didn't like the chocolate and peanut butter together. I really didn't like it. I didn't like it with the cereal. But that's just me. So CJ picks Reese's Puffs. Lee, who do you pick? This may shock y'all, but I'm choosing Reese's Puffs as well. Well, I, it didn't shock I, me. I thought I was just going to go with the... Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, well, Fine. Brandon... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. <laughs> we're, we're, we're allow it. Yeah, but, uh, so with that being said, Brandon, unless you want to use your wild card for uh, Lucky Charms, it seems that Reese's Puffs uh, is going to advance. But just to hear your side of the story, uh, which would you have picked anyway? Uh, the Reese's. Okay. Well, clean sweep. That is a clean sweep. And with that being said, it seems that we have wrapped up uh, round two. So without any hesitation, let's go ahead and go to round three. Are you gentlemen ready for this? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Well, let's go <laughs> back to the top of the board. Uh, and we, <clears throat> excuse me. And we start off with the OGs. Okay. This is the battle of the OG. CJ, you are a guest. So you will start off round three for us. So CJ, 
it comes to Frosted Flakes versus Cinnamon Toast. Oh my God! <laughs> Which do you pick? Oh, what? Oh, bro. This is a finals level matchup. Oh, bro. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Wow. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay. Yo. All yeah. right. Well, uh, Lee, who do you pick? Frosted Flakes. It, it was my first. It's I mean, it's still I mean. it's still with me. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less. Oh, I'd expect nothing less. Every round is about to be like this from here on out. Yep. Oh boy. Well, with that being said, uh, two things made the show much harder to edit, and secondly, Brandon, <laughs> uh, you had the choice to determine who goes. To the next round, will it, will it be Frosted Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Brandon, choice is yours. It's gotta be Frosted Flakes. Woo! There, we go. there we have it. Yeah, it's gotta. Be. So unless Don't CJ, unless CJ wants to use. Oh, oh. No. really? You see it? You see it? You see it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. Wild card, baby. I invoke my right to use this wild card. There we have it. Our first wild card of the tournament. Uh, CJ is choosing to advance Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The only way that this can be stopped, unless Brandon or Lee chooses to use their wild card to trump this. No pun intended. You know what, CJ? You need to draw four. I'm playing Let's my go. wild card. Let's go, oh, Lee. Let's go. Word. Let's go. All right. So if those of you who have not followed our show is that we <laughs> always have situations like this uh, and we get to choose who will be the one that breaks the wild card tournament. So how this goes is that we ask a question randomly by me who I am the ultimate tiebreaker and the two have to figure out what's the right answer. And I will later tell them the answer. So how it goes since CJ is our guest I'm thinking between a number between one and 73 to determine who is to go first, right? So with that being said, <laughs> CJ, who would answer first? I'm sorry. So CJ, I'm picking the number between one and 73. What is the number? Seven. All right, Lee. 28. All right, so the number is 54. Both of y'all lost. But it seems that Lee was the first was person closer. was closer. So, Lee, the question is, what cereal are the Little Debbie brand has become a cereal? Lee, the choice is yours. Hey, I'm pretty sure that it is oatmeal cream pie. CJ, would you like to answer? It is oatmeal cream. And that is correct. Oatmeal cream pop little Debbie was one yes. of the first little Debbie snack cakes to be turned into a cereal. With that being said, that means Frosted Flake advances. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is out of there. Thanks for playing. And you have both used your wild card. The only person left with the wild card is Brandon. Wow. That you fought vicious. a good fight, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Same to you, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I, I, I respect you. <laughs> wow <laughs> all right with that being go all said, the way sir go all the way <laughs> uh so with that being said it seems that french toast uh comes up to the next round and we have french toast crunch versus fruity pebbles brandon start us off french toast crunch cinnamon versus you go. versus fruity huh cinnamon flavor versus fruity flavor i know cinnamon yeah you asked me again Oh, okay. So with that yeah. being said, Brandon chooses French Toast Crunch. CJ, Fruity Pebbles or French Toast Crunch? Yeah, y'all finna hate me for this one. I'm gonna choose French Toast Crunch in memory of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! And Lee, you ain't got your card if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, Lee. So unfortunately, yeah. you don't have your wild yeah. card. So uh, Although, they, although they we do encourage people to vote uh, your vote doesn't Say count bye. right now. So, but if you were to vote, what would you have picked? 
And I, if I hadn't used my wild card on the last one, I would 1,000% have used it on this one. Because <laughs> uh, Frosted Flakes is probably my number one. Fruity Pebbles is probably my number two. Oh, how the tables turn, don't they? Oh, oh they hurt. Hurts. It does hurt. So oh. uh, with that being said, we have it come down to this, all right? We have Rice Krispies versus Tricks. Uh, CJ, who do you pick? Tricks, of course. Come on, man. All right. So with that being said, Lee, who do you pick? Tricks. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Brandon, unless you want to use your wild card, Tricks is going to advance. Uh, what, what would you have picked if you had a chance to vote? Uh, oh, but once again, Snap, Crack Get- on Pop is also a group music group so i'm going with them all right so brandon has choose rice krispies but brandon unless you want to use your wild card uh tricks advances no i'm good I'm okay good. well it looks like tricks uh advances all right so with that being said we have the last one of our uh round three we have honey bunches of oats lee or reese's puffs lee who do you pick Give it to Reese's Puffs because I think they'll do more of a number on my teeth. True. Okay. With that being said, uh, Lee picks Reese's Puffs. Brandon, who do you pick? Reese's on this one. All right. Well, CJ, like I said here, straight up, we do encourage people to go out and vote. But um, unfortunately, your vote doesn't matter because you used a wild card. But if you were able to <laughs> vote, uh, which do you pick? Clean sweet, man. Like, look, honey bunches of votes, low key is like, my number one cereal but bruh reese's puffs like universally yeah that's a top three so yeah reese's wow puffs. so a clean sweep and another spectacular round here on the straight up show podcast the greatest cereal of all time stay tuned because we have the final four and the greatest cereal of all time that's up next on the other side of the break stay tuned I think straight up means to be able to speak in a way that is straight up, to be honest and to speak your truth. Raw, uncut, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's blunt, you know, straight to the point, this is what it is. It's just a place to be open and honest and that's what I appreciate most about it and it provides a place for community members to come together and just be straight up with each other about things that are going on in the world because it affects all of us. Uh, unfiltered, raw, with all the cursing that Calvin does. Straight up is just being real, telling it, telling it like it is, you know, um, being you. Being solid, being who you are, no matter what it is, no matter what situation you're faced with, right? This is who you are. It really, it really speaks to me saying it is what it is and it ain't what it is, straight up. All right, so welcome back to a crazy episode of Straight Up Show Podcast. If you're still listening, thank you. If you have not, we understand why. Uh, but this is our greatest cereal of all time tournament. If you've been listening, it has been a crazy episode, uh, some controversial picks. Uh, to catch you up right now, CJ and Lee have both used their wild card. So their picks going forward do not matter if they choose to have a tie. Uh, only Brandon can use his wild card now. So we have now come to our final four of the greatest cereal of all time i had no stake in this i just i just asked a question so uh with that being said brandon lee cj are you guys ready for the final four man let's come on the gloves already came off so let's just let's just finish <laughs> this man all right so let's do it we'll start off with the one that does it the best brandon we have frosted flakes versus French Toast Crunch. Brandon, what is your pick? Gonna have to go with the French Toast Crunch because I don't want Superman to win again. Yeah, salty, man. <laughs> sea salty. And if you don't know what's going on, Brandon is really sea salty about uh, a tournament we had last time and he did not super, want Superman to win. I super am, yeah. Uh, so anyway, but with that being said, <laughs> we're going to go with uh, French Toast Crunch. Uh, so CJ, you're our guest. Uh, you kind of came up with this tournament. So with that being said, who do you pick French toast crunch or frosted flakes? Okay. I got a feeling I know where this is going to go. So if a certain somebody follows me, 
then yeah, well, yeah, you'll see what's happening. Frosted Flakes, Frosted Flakes, it 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 obliterated Cinnamon Toast Crunch in that epic battle. So I just I give it my respect. Frosted okay. Flakes, man, the All OG, right. the OG. Lee, what? choice is yours. Frosted Flakes yeah. or French Toast Crunch. I am speechless right now. I, I thought for sure I was about to lose this battle because it, it's Frosted Flakes. Come on. All right. But for for CJ to give up ground like that, man, res- mad respect. He just turned over a brand new leaf or what? Hey, hey. I mean, look, <laughs> look, look. I was able to get revenge and respect all at the same time, so I'm good. So, I, so I'm good. This is magic right here. We're, we're it's his podcast. Brand, yeah, <laughs> this is this is a brand new leaf right now. We're turning over squashing beef. Cereal you know. brings out, bro. Cereal brings out the truth in people, man. I'm telling you. But with that being said, we have a we have some trouble now. Will Brandon use his wild card to save French Toast Crunch? Brandon, uh, George, George. I brought up squashing beef and revenge. You played me on my Final Fantasy in the first game. You played me on my Batman and Superman oh, and then man. my Spider-Man I'm on the Spider-Man. last game. I'm using my wild card to take uh, down Frosted Flakes. Wow. I need him man. out. Comments this direct. This is what happens. Comments this direct all happens. of your energy towards Brandon. All this of it was Brandon. Yes. He did this. Wow. He, this is what he allowed happened. this to happen. Wow. Yeah. Well, and, and, and just to go ahead and throw that PSA out there because we know we're going to get a lot of hate mail because of this. Lee, we have <laughs> an email that a lot of people can send all their hate mail to. Lee, what's that email, please? Oh, yeah. That email, it's uh, I don't care at gmail.com. I don't care at gmail.com. Of course, we're kidding. So, with that being said, we have a dagger in this tournament. French Toast Crunch is going to the finals, which, wow. That's, a, that's an upset. That is an upset. I, I'm wow. pouring one out for Tony right now. Uh, <laughs> apparently today, he wasn't great. I didn't oh. know. I can't do it. But you, get, oh. you get my drift. But with that being said, we move along. Brandon has used his wild card, and it seems that French Toast Crunch, which I don't they still sell that? Uh, goes <laughs> to, to the finals. Uh, now, we're going to start with Lee with the last pick of the final four. Lee, we have Trix versus Reese's Puffs. Lee, who do you pick? So, it comes down to a fruity cereal versus a chocolatey cereal. Y'all know how this is going to go. It's Trix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Lee has chosen the tricks. Uh, CJ, do you pick uh, Reese's Puffs or do you pick tricks? I got to go Reese's Puffs, man. Oh, wow. I got to go Reese's Puffs. Wow. It tastes like the candy. Wow. All right. So once again, we're split. Brandon, will you send tricks or Reese's Puffs to go up against French Toast Crunch in the finals? Once again, Brandon, the choice is yours for those of you listening i know what you're already thinking and you're correct you're privileged with the reese's (laughs) (laughs) i just can't do the fruitiness man i can't oh man wow definitely this hate was coming for us oh man look look man look look just so y'all know comments okay i just like reese's better i love tricks i just like reese's better so that's that's why i chose it okay all right like it i don't like it it was nice knowing y'all for a while it was nice <laughs> having a podcast hey y'all you know, had a good <laughs> y'all had a good run y'all had a good we run. had a, we on, had a good we, we didn't even make 100 episodes but hey you know what <laughs> we're making it anyway so right. with that being said we now have our exclusive finals it will be in the greatest cereal tournament here on the Australia show podcast we have French Toast Crunch, which I don't even know they make anymore, versus Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Eat them up. Eat them up. All right. I like the commercial. So we have Reese's Puffs versus uh, French Toast Crunch. Are you guys ready for the final? Yes. Brandon, Lee? Lee, how you feeling, man? How you feeling, Lee? 
a little upset, honestly. But see, see like, that's how know. see that's how cinnamon toast crunch feels. Yeah, Brandon got his payback. That that, that would hurt. That would. He got, that would cut. he got his payback. He got his payback. Look, oh, but, but the thing is, Frosted Flakes' cousin isn't still in it, unlike Cinnamon Toast Crunches. <laughs> wow. Brandon, you really see salty. Wow, you just carried all this I, I told you in the text, what did I say? I was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to ruin this party. <laughs> wow. All right, so uh, we squash beef, made enemies, and here we are. All right, so uh, with that being said, let's start it off. We start with <laughs> no other than the person that came up with this concept. Uh, CJ is our guest, so what better way to end this tournament with the person that gave us the idea for it? CJ, French Toast Crunch, or Reese's Puffs? Who do you pick? So I'm in a very interesting position right now because, <laughs> because Reese's Puffs is arguably a top five, maybe even top three cereal universally, okay? But... French Toast Crunch is the cousin to my number one seed. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to be unbiased here. I'm going to go Reese's Puffs. All right. Final answer. Final answer. All right. So with that being said, Brandon, because I don't want you head of power. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> do you pick French Toast Crunch or do you pick Reese's Puffs? Trust is yours. I'm going to go with the French here and go with the French Toast. Oh, au revoir. Yeah. You know what that means? It means bye. Okay, never mind then. All right. <laughs> so how you support the French in the language? All right. So Brandon picks French Toast Crunch, CJ, Reese's Peace, Reese's Puffs. Uh Lee. This whole thing was created and done by you. Well, it was it was created by CJ, but organized by you. So what better way to give you the final pick of this whole ordeal? Lee, French Toast Crunch or Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Lee, before you make your decision, <laughs> before you make your decision, I, I just want to bring to your attention that you have to choose between a cereal with chocolate in it or the cousin to the cereal you eliminated. Choice is yours, buddy. The, uh. the, uh, the French Toast Crunch cereal has multiple colors in the name so that's your that's your that's all i got tell me that's you didn't just say that <laughs> <laughs> tell me you didn't just say that hey brandon is your arm hurting why from all that reaching <laughs> <laughs> okay so, uh, and to answer your question from earlier, Calvin, you can still buy French Toast Crunch in stores. Okay. Uh, so, so for me, this, this final decision comes down to one factor, and that is taste. Which of these two cereals do I like the taste of better? And I'm going to stop beating around the bush here because it's French Toast Crunch. Yes. Was that a Batman moment? I think that was a Batman moment. Yes. I think wow. we just had a Batman moment. <sighs> wow. Okay, so. Wait, wait a minute. The goat? The goat of cereal is French Toast Crunch. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy either way because <laughs> it's, it's a win for the cinnamon family. Dude. But French Toast Crunch are cannibals. They eat other cereals. Like, it. it Wow. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Wow. wow. Well, That's facts. Well, well. That's facts. That's facts. And, and well. you know, when, when, when he started this off, I said, I have no idea who is going to win this thing. I would not have predicted French Toast Crunch. Not ever. <laughs> not ever. Man. Because I was skeptical on putting that on the list, but wow. Just wow. Wow. So, 
there you have it. And there's a lot of uh, supplemental messages in this episode. Because if you don't go vote, you cannot complain. So I can't complain. I didn't vote. So with that being said, we had rules. People followed it. it may sound very conservative, conservative of me. But those who say I'm not conservative enough, <laughs> wink. Um, so the people voted. Can't complain. And we have a winner. Shockingly, did things the right way. And hey, here we are. Hey, CJ, got any complaints? No, man, because once again, like that's the that was what was so exciting about this particular tournament is because you genuinely didn't know who was going. Like everybody had like their their like top three, but yep. even then the matchups is what makes things you know confusing. Cause what if like two of your top three gotta go at it? You screwed. So this this was this was incredible. Wow. 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 So wow. uh Brandon, any last words? I won. I won. <laughs> All right, privilege. Pete. I won this round. <laughs> this guy. I won. Go eat some King I, Vitamin. I got, my, I got my revenge. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He finally won. won. He got he got the Superman up out of there. Got yeah, him. got the yeah. Superman up out of there. Yeah. Whoever I forgot who who brought Superman up. I was like, you know what? He's right. That is Superman. I'm taking him down. Yeah. Austin Flakes right. got robbed. Yeah, <laughs> Lee. Do you have any last uh, statements to say? Uh, no, nah, man. I I kind of want some French toast crunch now, honestly. Well, you know what? That's what happens in life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But make sure you check your way out of there next time. That's a dig at CJ. Because uh, <laughs> life cereal and check is the same thing. I don't care what you say. We all know who the real king is. Life. Come on, uh, put, some put some spec on his name. It's the same, but okay. It's this, <laughs> is it this original? I mean, what's original? What kind of flavor is that? Come on, Some man. Kind of original kind of flavor. What, what flavor you, is it? You, you know what? It's the OG. That's all you need, man. Okay. That's all you need. Okay? okay. Well, with that being said, we want you to join the conversation. If you don't mind, go on our social media page. Is life and check cereal the same? I say yes. CJ says no. With that being said, CJ, people can catch you because you're going to be helping us out. Uh, can you tell us about what's going to happen now going forward uh, post this tournament episode? Man, so check this out. So I will be dropping these Foodie Friday episodes every Friday, every Friday. And like I mentioned, like they're going to be different items. So you're going to see breakfast items like cereals that we just did. You're going to see uh, like sometimes I might hit up an actual restaurant, actual spot. You know, sometimes I'm going to find an item that you can only find in a certain region, you know, you just, you never know. But the only way is to find out is to either check it out, the straight up page, there'll be help sharing the page. And you can also find me on Facebook, Charles CJ Johnson. And then on IG, it's CJ underscore A-Y-E-S-G. All right, with that being said, thank you so much, CJ, for joining us and letting us share some of your content on our page. Uh, telling y'all, he dropped some stuff and you're gonna love his Foodie Fridays. I'm a foodie, I shouldn't be, but damn, I love food. Uh, so uh, he has some great videos. I can't wait for y'all to see it dropping this Friday, uh, post this episode's release. Uh, so make sure you tune out with that. And make sure you join the conversation because that is the end of our show, our tournament show the greatest episode of all time and if you want to give us some tournament episodes to throw our way that we can do and go over and you love it if you haven't canceled us just yet uh do that go to our website at straightupshowpodcast.com you can go there and buy merch listen to previous episodes uh give us suggestions uh you can also go to our social media platforms especially mostly go to our website it's str number eight up show podcast Dot com. Don't forget that we're also heard on WBOB Radio every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you go follow us there. You can listen to it at WBOBradio.live every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Until then, there's only one rule to our show is you got to be straight, straight up. up. Straight up.